What's up everybody, Matt with Lathrum Media, and in this video we're inside Premiere Pro 2020, and we're going to be talking about masks, uh, specifically how to function with them, how to you know, resize them, adjust them, and whatnot. Uh, mainly because I see a lot of newcomers kind of struggle with it in the beginning, and it's really not that hard if you understand the trick. So, I'm just going to drag an adjustment layer on top of my uh, timeline here, go into effects, and I'm going to drag a blur, give it a higher value so we can see what's going what we're doing rather and I'll cover the ellipse but uh, for the most part usually I see the struggle with the square or the rectangle the polygonal however you wish to call it we'll go ahead and click that now as you can see it drops into the center of our program window here and we could drag this around uh, but generally what I see going on here is we'll cover up this logo here and you'll see people grab point, drag it down, grab a point, drag it over, so on and so forth. And they'll try their best to make it look square, which that's not horrible, but there are times where it just looks absolutely atrocious. Uh, so instead of going through and doing all that, there's a trick. So we're going to do the same thing. We're still going to cover this logo. But what we're going to do is I'm going to highlight, you know, basically pick a location outside of this mask. Go ahead and click, drag, or I should say click, hold, and drag. Highlight these two bottom points here and then grab one of the points and start dragging it down. Now, as you can see, I mean, it started off with a bit of a snap, but you can go left and right. If you don't want to, go ahead, hold the shift key as you're dragging it it allow you to get that nice 90 degree snap. Same thing here, we're gonna click, hold and drag these two points. Start pulling it, hold shift, and there you go. Darn near a perfect square. Now, for the sake of argument here, there are more to that. Okay, so you have you know the ability to drag out your sides cool beans but what if you wanted to resize this proportionally to what it is now it's actually not that hard if you hover over one of your corners you'll see the 90 degree uh, double ended arrow hold the shift button again and you'll see that changes to a straight line double arrow That'll allow you just to, you know, proportionally drag that out or scale that out without any issues. Now with your ellipse tool, go ahead and drop a circle on here. Kind of the same concept. I mean, if you you can set or uh, drag a uh, a point itself, and it's not that bad. It usually just stretches in one direction or another. Uh, but same concept here. If you come down to where it's a uh, a 90 double arrow hold shift it'll allow you to proportionately scale that ellipse uh, mask without going completely overboard without trying to you know line this part up and then move it around and drag it around and, and roughly manually make it look like a circle again but that's about all I have. Uh, I've drug it out as much as I really needed to. Could have probably did it a little bit quicker, but anyhow, I digress. Uh, that's all I have for this video. Until the next one, I'll catch you guys later.